I'm Robin Higgins, and this is Electron Mobility versus Concentration. All right, so in this question, we have two different properties, electron mobility versus electron concentration. And how are these related? Well, they're related because they both affect the conductivity of a substance. And the conductivity is the ability of a substance to have a charge of electrons. So if we have a substance, let's just say it's a hunk of metal, uh, the conductivity is how fast these electrons can move through that substance. So metals are really, really good conductors. That's why they're inside all of our wires, because we want electrons to flow, creating charge, electricity, and power. So electron mobility is basically just how quickly an electron can get through metal. So every substance is going to have its own electron mobility. They'll really depend on how the atoms are uh, structured together. And a concentration is just how many of these electrons do we have in a certain area. So if something has a ton of electrons, it's going to have a really high concentration. If it only has a few, it's going to have a really low concentration. So conductivity is basically a joint measure of these two different things. So you can think of two examples. If you have two blocks of metal and one has a bunch of electrons, but they only move very slowly, that will have the same conductivity as a metal with only a couple of electrons that move really fast. So just as an example to give you a couple of regular everyday numbers, silicon at room temperature has an electron mobility of about 1400 centimeters squared over volts times second versus carbon nanotubes which are, which are designed to be conductors. This has an electron mobility of about 100,000 centimeters squared over volts times second. So we can see that just these two different samples are going to have really huge different electron mobilities. I'm Robin Higgins, and this has been Electron Mobility versus Concentration.